Well, how do that jumps to Zai, Captain of the Steers. And we're jumping back into No Man's Sky. Well, not the game. I'm just going to be jumping over onto the patch notes. I probably will jump into game and just show you how to run the expedition from the console inside of the Space Anomaly or Nexus, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, let's jump on over onto the actual Tinterwebs and I'll show you the patch notes, people. So here we go. We have No Man's Sky. Amaga. So it hasn't been called Star Seed or anything like what the actual, you know, the old game divers, the, the data miners, the data miners have actually come up with people. So that's a bit of an oddity, unless there might be another update in the wings. It does feel kind of curious. The amount of time that they've given us to run this expedition isn't a vastly great one, but they have given free access to all platforms to trial this over this weekend. So interesting times. Anyway, I love this freaking typeface. That's that's beautiful. I want that on a t-shirt. That looks cool. And I love all this. This looks freaking great. And this ship is beautiful. And it's in my actual logo colours. And so is this giant freighter. To, yeah. I don't know whether I'm going to get one of those giant freighters though, because I'm quite partial to the freighter I've got. It's quite unique. I've done a whole video on a rant about the whole Omega update. I, I put it up there. I don't know how much of it's going to feel valid after I read these patch notes, people. So I'm reading these patch notes for the first time with you guys right now. So here we go. Omega. Introducing update 4.5. The Omega update invites everybody to embark upon a new shared interstellar expedition. Entirely for free! Yeah, lovely job, Lou. I did see that over on Twitterverse. I saw Sean Murray's tweet to say that everybody can play it for free. I was like, huh? How? Lovely. Whether they already own No Man's Sky or not, featuring a complete overhaul of Expeditions. Featuring a complete... To Expeditions. Are you talking about this one Expedition? Or all Expeditions? I guess it's all Expeditions from now. Cool. New on-planet missions, claimable pirate freighters and much more. And we've got ourselves a trailer, which I've already watched, decoded. Let's, uh, let's hit replay on this one then. And let's just turn the sound down. So here we go. Right, yeah, I have to mute the sound, mainly because, you know, the old sound effects are all sort of copyrighted. Well, that's pretty cool. I didn't come across a plated planet like that when I was playing, though. That's a pretty cool base as well. They've got lots of mining going on. New Atlas flight pack. It is quite lovely. The new helmet. Very lovely. Did, did you see that? There's a guy with a jet pack and a cape at the same freaking time over there. Okay, don't know how they managed that one. Sneaky little Womble! And isn't it weird that, you know, in multiplayer, they can see the actual players with capes. They can see capes in multiplayer over in frickin' Sean's universe. I'd have to have a look in the old Nexus to see if I can see anybody with cakes. Uh, capes. Is the cake a lie, though? Yes, there we are. Brilliant, eh? They're all taken to the sky in formation. I'm not too sure that they're actually player controlled. They almost look like they're linked onto his ship there. We have seen that time and time again, though. There's all sorts popping up in the top corner about what might be inside of these patch notes, including some lovely missions there. Very nice. Cool, yeah? That was Sean's PC. Did you see that? Sean's PC in the top corner. Nice. Cool. Oh, they're taking out freighters. Nice. And that's the console that I will be using later. And we'll be taking on the expedition. I'll show you how to get that started. That looks a bit more blue than normal, doesn't it? I quite like that. It's very Superman-esque or Spider-Man. Cool, yeah? All right, well, there you go. There's a trailer then, people. So that's as far as I've got on these patch notes. I scrolled down. I watched the trailer. Haven't read anything else. Let's carry on down. Let's have a look. Play for free. I actually tell a lie, I read up to here actually. <laughs> yeah, I read up to here and uh, I did click one of these just to see what happens. And when you actually click one of these, if I hit that into another tab, this is the one I clicked earlier. It came up like this and it said here that like, there was two segments, free trial, and you can free trial it. I think that's freaking awesome. Maybe that's why there was a bit of a problem getting it out to Xbox for so long. Maybe that's the real reason as to why. Don't know. It's not like we get communications to clarify these things. I do like the new helmet. I do like... Oh, that's not the new staff. But I do like the new helmet. <laughs> Rigging great. Yeah, cool, yeah. And scrolling down a bit further. Lovely screenshots. Very nice. That ship is really cool. I love the sort of oil effect on the cockpit. It does look freaking awesome, doesn't it? That little decal. The little racing decal has got me sort of thinking, hmm... Ship racing could be on the cards. I, I said about all of that in the last video I did, my rant video. I talk a lot about what I think might be coming in the year. So if you do want a load of speculation on what might be coming in the year, hit up that video. 
Okay, scrolling down a bit further. What have we got? A new way to start expeditions. Dive into community expedi expeditions directly from ex existing save games. Bring along your favourite starship and multi tool to face the expedition challenges in a familiar style. Cool. I couldn't see how to add my ship. I didn't have those two bot buttons at the bottom of mine when I hit this up earlier. I've got the footage saved. I'll be, I'll be putting it in in a minute so you can see. Maybe you have to go to the Nexus during the expedition to pull it in. I don't know. But I didn't have those two buttons. Didn't have them. They're not there for me. Okay, let's carry on down then. Cool, yo. That's pretty darn nice as far as screenshots go. The underbelly of the ship. I haven't, I haven't really paid much attention to the underside. Very nice. Okay. Seize a pirate's dreadnought. Board and defeat a pirate capital ship to confront the captain and claim their vessel. Take on the universe with your fleet. Assemble around your very own dreadnought. Very cool. I do like the windows in these new dreadnoughts. That's the only reason I think I might want to upgrade is because the views from it are going to be freaking epic. The reason I don't want to upgrade to it though, people, is I know that everybody's going to have one. And it's not going to feel that unique if everybody's got one. I, would, I want to keep my cruddy little freighter that took me freaking weeks to get. Yeah, it did. It took me ages to get my, my freighter. Right, okay. A mega expedition. Answer the call of the universe in a new communal expedition. All participating travellers begin a journey together on the beautiful planet Natufu Gamma and plot a course through the galaxy. Explore, build, fight and more through the diverse set of milestones and unpick the threads of mystery involving the past and, and the present, and what could be. Okay, well, I think those milestones are exactly the same as the milestones that were set to us inside of the experimental version. So I've already got a playlist on all of this. Even though it was on PC, I think it's still freaking relevant, every single step. So I don't think it's really worth me hitting up another playthrough of this. Although I am on my PlayStation 5, so I might as well film it and put it out there just in case you want to see it again. But uh, this one, I might just do my top tips. But to be honest, the whole thing of diverse milestones, I would say the milestones in this one, for me, I didn't spot anything new that we haven't seen in previous expeditions. So although that they're quite varied, we've seen them all before. There's nothing new there, it's just... Yeah, lift and shift. Pretty much. Okay, you know, I'm scrolling down. And I didn't get to do all the optional milestones because we ran out of time on the experimental. So I'll probably do those as well. All right, we'll scroll down a bit further. Atlas Path Rework. The classic Atlas Path mission has been given a new breath of life, culminating in a final consequential choice. Witness the Atlas in all of its grandeur and decide whether to embrace the path it offers or deny it. Either path will permanently impact your relationship with the Atlas. Seriously? Okay, well, until I understand what the impact is of denying it, I don't know whether I'm going to make that choice, especially on my 900-hour playthrough. So you know what I might do? I might hit on up my PC save, play all the way through the Atlas path, maybe deliver that in some sort of adventure format, like I used to do all that time ago, and get my PC save all the way up to the point where I can make this decision. On my PS5 save, make one decision, and on my PC save, make another decision. On my PC save, I've already got the Sentinel Dreadnought, and, well, the Pirate Dreadnought, sorry. So on that save, I already look like I'm a git bag. So on that one, I think I'm going to deny the Atlas. And on my PlayStation 5, I'm going to accept the Atlas. And we'll see what happens. Exciting stuff, huh? Cool, yeah. Okay, we'll do that then. Cool, that's set in stone. Lovely. Oh, that's such an awesome... I might have that as a freaking wallpaper. That looks great. I really like that. I might even put that in the back of my team's meeting backgrounds. Yes, lovely. Atlas Scepter. So the Atlas Scepter. Complete the Omega Expedition to claim this limited edition staff multi-tool. This unusual ceremonial staff is a mystery of origins, but is said to have been hand-forged by the Corvax Priest entity in tribute to the Atlas. Love it. I freaking like the animations on it as well. It's really quite cool, isn't it? It goes well with the helmet. It really does. Yeah, I, I like the whole ensemble. Prepare expedition provisions. Okay, I managed to do this by putting in all the provisions. Bundle up and cash of the technology and cargo in preparation for meeting the challenges of the community expeditions. All accessible from aboard the Space Anomaly. Brilliante. Coolio. Yeah. 
right? And yeah, I did all this, but look, you see that they haven't got the buttons underneath that we saw earlier as well. So maybe you have to start the expedition, and then when you get to find the, the actual space anomaly, maybe then you can bring your ship in or something, I don't know. Accessible notifications. Manually cycle through available notifications to conveniently access missions, directive and contentual hits, and general guidance. This has been needed for such a long time, and it's just a right, oh, just a left press on the... That is so needed. That's brilliant. I like that quality of life improvement. Now if you could just make it so we can filter out all base markers and freaking comms balls during expeditions, that'd be freaking great. In a similar sort of styley or something, you know? That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Got that scrolling. Oh, bloody hell. Poor little butterflies. Look at them being ridden on by crazy people. Nice. The Atlas Flight Pack. This is a lightweight jet pack powered by Fiery Crimson Core and is available to all travellers who complete the Omega Expedition. And I must say, I've got mine. It looks freaking great over on my PC save. Yeah, I do want that as a cosmetic over on my normal save on PlayStation. But I think I'm going to carry on rocking it as, you know, Super Gek in, inside of my PlayStation save. But I am still going to unlock all this from my um, PlayStation save, just in case I change my mind at any time. Retain the expedition loot. Use the shared inventory terminal aboard the Space Anomaly to furnish your primary save with resources and technologies earned during the community expeditions. Very cool. So when you end the expedition, you can then choose the things to take out with you. Nice! I used to hit up Scottish Rod and say, you got time to jump into multiplayer so I can give you all my stuff? Because I used to like all the manuscripts, you know, like from the Endurance one, where you got all this swarm of manuscripts and all the lore. I wanted that in my legacy save. That saves messing about. Freaking great. Yes, I did. That didn't even occur to me until I just read that. That's awesome. New planetary missions. Alien life forms offer rewards for huge array of new multiplayer missions with objectives specific to the aliens' personality as well as their home planet's climate, geography, and ecology. Okay, well, looking at this, I think the only thing that it does actually change up is all of this text down here, which is a little bit like, you know, when we send out um, frigates on expeditions and that pulls a, like, like a load of proc gen mission briefy stuff after you debrief. I think it's similar to that. I don't think it actually has much bearing on this, collect copper. I mean, it might, you know, it might not ask you to collect copper if the planet hasn't got any copper. But yeah, yeah, that's that sort of thing. But I'm fairly sure that the objectives is going to be a very narrow pool of objectives. Kill sentinels, collect me this, collect me that, fetch this, defend against pirates, you know, raid a depot. I bet it's going to be that sort of stuff. I don't think we're going to see anything new there in way of mission, you know. Come on. All right, here we go. It'd be nice if they added in more photography missions. I'm just saying. Anyway, we've got that. Uh, scrolling down, we've got titch, Twitch drops. Okay. Expedition Performance Rewards. A new wrap-up phase. Oh, cool. When completing community expeditions, tallies up your personal achievements, offering monetary rewards to take back to your main save. Oh, I love all this sort of stuff. I used to play laser tag and quasar and all that sort of stuff. Photon, if you're in America. And it used to give you your score at the end, like Top Gun and how many people you had taken down, how many bases you had actually looted or flag flags you had captured or whatever you was doing. I used to love all that. I used to love getting my little print out at the end. This feels very reminiscent of that. Look, look at that. How many systems you've visited, how far you've travelled, how many Sentinels you've taken out. Heck yes, I'm all up for this. Brilliant. Yeah, I, I like that. That's going to have me just running the expeditions just to see the end screen. I, I, I like numbers moving. Yeah, cool, yeah, lovely. Cool, done that. Nice. Atlas Head Shield. This is an exclusive helmet. is rewarded to all travellers who complete it. The Omega Expedition, a soft but immutable heartbeat can be heard within. Very cool. That, that's another nice image for a background, isn't it? Very cool. I do like that helmet. It is lovely. And yeah, the coloured customizations. I've got red horns on mine. It looks really doomy. I like it. Okay, scrolling down. What else we got in here? What else we got? Caesar tribute from Outlaws. Concerned pirate dreadnoughts. Uh, what? Cornered pirate dreadnoughts, even. Can surrender the battle and will renounce their cash of ill-gotten booty in exchange for mercy. So yeah, even if I don't liberate one of these and have it for myself on my main PlayStation save. Um, I'm going to have a look at the ill-gotten gains. I'm going to be getting that. Hopefully they give you station overrides and hopefully we get a use for station overrides at some point. Or, you know, might get a shed load of units. Either or, I'm going to be claiming the bounty on them. 
Atlas Path Finale FX. The conclusion to the Atlas Pass has been visually enhanced and reworked to create a more spectacular finale. Does look pretty nice. You know we can have multiple ships and multiple multi-tools. I was just thinking to myself then, I would love to have the ability to have maybe, what, three different freighters. You know, but then when you swap your primary, it's got to pull your base over, hasn't it? Or maybe they could just allow us to have three separate freighter bases? That'd be nice. If they added in a living freighter, and we've also got these pirate freighters and then normal freighters, if they gave us the ability to have three different freighters, fellow games, if you're listening, that'd be nice, I guess. And the living freighters? Yeah, cool, yeah. All right, yeah, let's head on down here. That looks pretty darn freaking cool, doesn't it? Nice. Well, people, I started off reading the patch notes thinking this is very much like what we've seen with Utopia and also Singularity. It's an it's an expedition with a few boat bolt-on extras. I think these bolt-on extras have got a slight bit more depth. I think maybe I was a bit harsh on my last video, my rant video. I think this is a I think this has got a little bit more to it, people. So I'm actually warming to this. This is actually feeling a bit better. Especially if at one one day, one day, if they do are given the ability to actually run any of the expeditions, maybe at Christmas around the time of the reduxes, if they give you a choice of four and which which order ever order you want to run them in, I think that'd be freaking great. This might be this might be game changing for the reduxes, or if they ever give us the ability to run expeditions anytime we want from that console, that would add a, another layer into gameplay. I think it's got future legs. Uh, although that I'm, I'm really miffed, really miffed about not having those space stations appear inside a game, people, that were inside of that trailer that Hello Games put out there at the freaking Game Awards. Yes, Mr. Murray, you, you tease bag. Where are our freaking stations? Which is pretty much the next, um, you're probably going to see it at the end. I'll probably put a card or something on the um, end credits of where are those space stations. But yeah, there's quite a lot to digest there, people. A lot to be had. And yeah, I think this is going to keep me busy. I think for about maybe a week, if that. I mean, I need to get my um, Starborn Runner ship on my PlayStation 5. I need to complete the expedition on my PlayStation 5. But then I'm going to be jumping over to PC. And I'm going to be doing a PC playthrough of me being a pirate git bag and turning down the Atlas. That's all going to be on PC. Hopefully you'll be locked in for that. But now let me show you how to start that expedition inside of game. So I jump on over inside of game, people. We'll see you over there. Well, how yes. do the chums? Right, well, I'm over inside of No Man's Sky. I'm inside of the new Omega update. Let's go and hit on up this console. And let's see if I can partake in the expedition. Oh, look at this. Yes, I can select equipment. Nice one. Cool. It does say that you can take your own ship, but... I'm not seeing anything down here where I can invest in taking my own ship in. But I should be able to take some technologies. There we go, we'll have that. Okay, yes we will. What else will we have? We will have that. Yep, lovely. And... Uh, we could go for... Hmm, have we got anything else? Yeah, so we'll take this one as well. Yeah, so I can get around the galaxy a little bit quicker. I don't know whether I'm overly fussed about any of the other modules. I might take this this one in just for my own protection. Cargo. Anything worth taking inside of here. Let's have a little butchers. Let's see if we can... I can take some radiant shards. I can spin those into nanites, can't I? Yeah, lovely. Uh, anything else that I want to be able to take with me? Mm, da -dum -dum -dum. Star silk, definitely. I'll just take 12 for that, for building the chair and the base building. If it's still a thing, it might not be a thing. That might be completely redundant. Uh, we do need some Pugnium later on, but we do get to kill a load of Sentinels. I'm going to take 10 launch thruster fuels. And what else do I want to take with me that's going to help me massively? I don't want to over-encumber myself and take up my storage space with things that I can get inside a game anyway, you know? I'll take, I'll take some of these. I'll just take six of them. Uh, anything else that I need? I don't think so. I think we're I think we're pretty good with with what we've got now. I might just take, you know, eight of them for example as well. There's a few bits and bobs that, that can help actually, isn't there? You know, as you're going through the list, you're like, oh yeah, actually, I'll take some of that. Oh, and I'll take a little bit of this. Yeah, I mean, I could take amaral and cadmium and all that sort of shenanigans, but to be honest, I think we're fairly good with what we're seeing here. Hmm. Okay, I mean, I could take some of these. 
And then, you know, at least I can get myself a load of units as well. Anything else for anything else? Loads of station overrides there. I was really hoping that station overrides would come into game and become a thing. But no, no such luck there. The ionised cobalt. I did have to go in caves for a while. That saved me a bit of a grind. Yeah. Anything else in here? Uh, I think I think we're probably good with that as a starting sort of array of things to take in, people. And you know what? I I take in I take a couple of um, these an extra refiner there because that comes in handy for duplicating. There you go. It saves me making a couple of refiners, and that'll do me. I'm going to hit start expedition. Now, what I'm interested in seeing is if all the patches are the same as the patches inside of experimentals. So let's go and have a look, shall we, people? All right. Um. So, okay. Oh, there we are. It's doing it. <laughs> I thought I'd broken something. Then people inside the view of us. Okay. Initialize expedizione. Don't mind if I do. Now it's going to have a load of cutscene. At least I know that I'm going to be Captain Steve inside of this one. I haven't got to run around as some freaking stranger. Ah, look, the crash freighter is in space. This looks like exactly the same planet as inside of the experimental. Right, I think we'll have to turn off the networking settings in this as well, because I don't want to get anybody PvP in me to death or anything. Right, reconvene once we go through this cutscene. Oh, it does feel good seeing my character inside of an expedition i'm not gonna lie that's that's pretty darn freaking groovy baby i guess it's giving me a weird freaking multi-tool though i'm telling you that much for free okay well let's go into the old um, options and just just check the network settings so if you are coming in you might want to turn off network make sure pvp is off i'm also going to cro turn off cross platform mainly because i don't want people picking up something that i want inside of the game Right, okay, there we go. I've disabled that. I mean, if you're playing with friends, obviously don't disable that, you know. <laughs> it's just my advice. Righto, well, let's um, let's have a quick look at the old expedition tabs. So, escape velocity, pretty much the same thing. Homecoming, yeah. You know what? This looks pretty much on par with what we did inside of the experimental. It really does. In fact, I'm not seeing any differences here, people. No, nope, it's all exactly the same. It's exactly the same. So when Hello Games said that they've put a version in for us guys to run, I don't think that's overly true, people inside of the view of us. I think they've gone and done exactly the same thing. It's all the same rewards as well. Yep. Um, so yeah, I, I think... A lot of what us guys as content creators did, thinking that this was a version of the expedition and putting stuff out there. And yeah, I know that we got to bug test, but is that a decent enough trade-off? Is that a decent enough trade-off? Yeah, you guys in the view of us, let us know what you think, people. I okay, guess. Lovely. Love to hear from you. Have I got all my emotes as well? What? No, I don't have all of them. Well, I've got the air grab. I haven't got all the other ones, like the holograms and things. Yeah, so it is a kind of like a little custom save, isn't it? Anyway, what I think I'll do is just sit in camera mode. I will continue with this in my own time, but at least I'm not going to die standing there doing nothing. And yeah, hopefully you've had my patch notes reading, and this is just how to get yourself started inside of the expedition using the console inside of the old Nexus. Now, I could have spent a bit more time there and really fine-tuned and picked my items. I probably will do a guide video on the best loadout to go through and what to take with you on expeditions to give yourself a head start, but I think I'll probably do those custom to each of the different expeditions and take more time and put more thought into it going forwards. But this was just a little heads up on the things that I've took with me on this expedition. Well, there we go, people. So... Hopefully that's given you an idea of what to do to get your expeditions started. That's probably the best way to start expeditions rather than the main title screen, unless it's your first ever game save. And hopefully we're going to be welcoming a load of new players into the actual game that have picked this up on the trial version. And if you have picked this up on trial and you found my channel for trial, please hit that like and subscribe and share with your mates and stuff. Maybe get them to trial it as well. No Man's Sky is a lot more fun when you've got some players with you, as long as you can get multiplayer to hold its instance, which is always a challenge in itself. It's probably one of the hardest things in No Man's Sky, actually, to get multiplayer to hold the instance during the weekend mission. Have fun! Yeah, anyway, welcome new players. Yeah, there we go. And um, everybody that's been here and been here for the duration, thank you very much for your support. More than welcome! Heck yes, thank you very much. 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you all guys next time. So salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.